Hey, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. I really made a bold statement when I put the title on this video, but I really believe learning this solo will make you a better guitar player. We're just in the minor pentatonic here, G minor pentatonic, sneaking in a few major pentatonic notes and working right up the fretboard. Check this out. first started playing I thought I would never be able to play a solo like that but the notes are actually very simple simple structure but played with authority let me bring you in and, and show you this at half speed <laughs> It's always good to know the chords you're playing over. We're looking at G to D, C. So just G power chord to C, C2 because of this D note you're adding, and then D with no third. You don't need the third, just those three notes. So just walking up to the C and back down to the D. So G minor pentatonic works so well over this, this solo and these chords. Uh, Angus Young uses minor pentatonic on almost everything he does. He just sneaks in a few major notes, which I'll show you as we work up the neck here. But this is a simple solo, but so powerful. G minor pentatonic. So he just wails away in this first position, starting with this first bend, just powerful right away, bending up a whole tone to this D note. And then once you get it to pitch, add a little vibrato there. And he does a fairly fast vibrato. Um, right down the pentatonic scale. So raking these first two strings here, third fret of the E string, third fret of the B string. I, just, I do upstrokes on those. Hitting that D note, because that's where it, it's on the D chord at that point. So slam on this, this sixth fret of the B string. So you're, you're bending, just, you already are bending up to pitch basically and, and letting it down right here. All right here in the G minor pentatonic first position, a little tricky with that double stop. Barring the third fret of the G string and the B string. Slight bend. These are just good licks to play anytime, anywhere. 
He really crafted an awesome solo here. All in the first position. Now he's walking up a little bit, starting to add a little piece of major in here. So still in the minor pentatonic here. I like to look at this as major pentatonic. But again, I, I don't think he's even thinking, he, he's looking at this root note. And then he hits it again. One more time, real slow. That is a, just an awesome lick. It's so simple, but when you play it with authority, man, this thing really sticks out. All right, one more time with that little phrase. Right there, that's the third position of the G minor pentatonic. And that is just uh, mixing major and minor at its best right there. Then back to the first position, just an octave up. So bending the pitch here. Bending to the G note here. Back to the first position. Then that same lick again in the octave. He just varies it a little bit there. I like to use my first two fingers for this because there's a lot of, you know, especially on a, a SG, there's not a lot of room there. I, I heard it several different ways, but that double stop again. Then, uh, then st still in the minor pentatonic. And he sneaks in that little major note again. Half bend. And that little lick again. Then he slides up this time. I, at least that's what I hear. Up to that D note instead of bending it. I've heard many players bend it. I, I think he's sliding it up, but it, it, it really doesn't matter. He plays it a little different every time live also. so, And then finish it off with a little major lick. Half bend. I said before, this solo has it all. Take some time and learn this solo because if you can learn this, you are mixing the major and minor pentatonic. For one thing, you are working your way up the neck and there's so many variations of those licks once you get those down that you'll, you'll just start playing all over the neck I really do believe that because that's how it happened for me and I, I just I love this solo and let me know if you did get something from this lesson because I really want to do a series of these these uh, break down some of these classic solos because there's so much in them that we can learn from them Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Hopefully we'll see you on the next one.